Retro here. It is reaction time. Been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, bear with me. Oh, but. So, yeah, reaction time. Internet's best reactions for WTF1. But nevertheless, Internet's best reactions to the 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix. What a start to the season. Let's hear what everyone else had to say. Let's go. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the internet's best reactions presented by Fanatec. Oh my god, the first round is, I just can't believe it. I am so full of energy at the moment, I cannot get this smile on my face. Someone has looked at my Christmas list where I asked for an amazing 2021 season and what a what start. What a start. Hamilton versus Verstappen. We've got an amazing super week with Fanatec this week. So Tweet of the Week is winning a podium wheel and we'll have a few more of those across the season. Let's get into your reaction. Here we go. Up, what do we got? Pantsy, F1 theme song kicks in. We all wait for the bass drop and then... Dun. I don't need to do the rest, do I? It, you know what that F1 theme tune is like. And but by the way, just want to say, I'm sorry if I've missed any commentary banter or memes. I was actually very lucky to be doing some F1 TV commentary this weekend and uh, buzzing. So if you are listening, thank you so much for all the lovely messages. But back to this, back to Formula One being back. I am just, uh, I'm floored. I'm, I can't, I, my mind is all over the shop. So yeah. I'll try and cover everything. Uh, but the fact that Formula One is back anyway, I've said that quite yep. a few times already in this segment. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. You Actually, and me both, Matt. This year's We Race as One message. Among us. A bit weird. Among us. <laughs> Love it. Whole, but just that particular person uh, being part of, part of it. Um, mm -hmm. Let's not go into too much detail and move on. The, we're going to keep it upbeat. We're not going to linger on things that make us upset. When the F1 theme tune comes on the telly for the very first... <laughs> oh, some of the gifts. We get, we've got some fresh gifts this year, folks. The 2019 theme, uh, like the whole edit, the video edit, the intro, the most, because it was punchy. It was punchy on the... On the dudes, boom, you know? boom, so boom. Like da, 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 boom, 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 Especially this year's, you know, just, you're just buzzing, aren't you? But I feel like it could be a bit punchier. AFC Julia, Alex watching Checo's car. So this was, of course, on the formation lap. Oh, that, that was brutal. Just coming round the penultimate corner, I think it was. Just switched off. I don't know how he managed to get it to, to start again because it was fully black. No power, no nothing. That was even brutal. Seen he was ready to take his steering wheel off out of the car and he was going to retire. But then yeah. he managed to get it up and running, and then an amazing Somehow. P5 after a Whoa, recovery. disappointing qualifying. I did joke on Twitter about, should we talk about the second Red Bull seat? That was more alluding to it being cursed rather than Perez not having talent. And, uh, well, he showed in the race that he's still definitely got it and making progress already. At Demoness Clomo, everyone when Mazepin crashed. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, there was... You know, I would never celebrate anyone crashing or putting their lives in danger, but wow, what an absolutely horrendous weekend that man has had. And yeah, I have no there was that. For him. <laughs> Suckers! Oh, Perez switching mediums into mediums. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what the reasoning for that was. Uh, maybe he had a puncture from going offline or not sure. So uh, ah. in, in I'm sure you'll be ferociously typing in the comment section right now but yeah it was a bit odd do i check the comments to me nah it'd be too easy know, uh, it still worked out okay and do, i don't do, think do, he would have, well norris do, maybe do, was uh, do, uh, someone do, do, that he would have liked to have finished ahead of but p5 is still a solid performance sad wow. absolutely lando versus leclerc is looking spicy it was it was a good little battle <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that comes to be and, uh, lando Ooh. That battle in the end uh, but the fact that leclerc who looked very slow at the start of the race managed to then kind of sort out his race pace in the middle and, uh -huh. and last parts of, of of the of the event and uh wasn't actually too bad at all of course got pit by perez at the end but overall ferrari looking much better than i think a lot of people anticipated of course testing they did look okay but you never know until you get to round one and you think or oh, maybe you know ferrari is just trying to trying to you know just push a few lap times out there on testing. i do love the background music for this Ferro underscore Francesco. Hamilton pitting early. Me at the moment. I think that was 
pretty much everybody. Yeah, I was, I was trying to think. Wait, hang on. How does it? Uh, da, 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 this, 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 this. As to who was going to win, obviously out of Verstappen and Hamilton after Bottas had his it was pit stop, but. Oh, for it was oh, that blunderbuss from Mercedes! What the fridge was wrong with that? Died. It was more the fact that sometimes the softs were working okay, and then the mediums, and then it was a switch between the mediums. And the, the hards, you know, Hamilton had 15 laps or so on his second stint, and then just decided to pop in for another set of hards. So none of us thought he would then go on to the end of the race. I think 28, 29 laps on yeah. his last stint mm. on another set of hards. It, it, it was just a mind. I wanted to use a bad word there. You know what I was going to say. Hey, Mind yeah. Blown. There were lots of... Was it, it, was, it was just a mind-boggling, just like, hello, I was like, so weird. this, he needs to make this, this, that, and the other. From last to fourth, of course, this was... He, he was last to third at one point! A lot of people were getting on the Perez hype train. He was, he was last to third at one point! Look, as long as he's making those improvements, and as long as he's showing the potential, it's, it's good, right? But the fact is, Albon also did good last to fifth drives. It's about when he's in the mix with the Mercedes, can he hang on? And we'll find out, we will. Really, yeah. are the F1 comes in with 1.7 between Verstappen and Lewis. Where are we? <laughs> yeah, what I know. Are, what have we got in front of us, guys and girls? 2021, 23 race season, and it looks as if Mercedes and Red Bull are on a par. Not Red Bull turning up with three races to go. He, they genuinely should have won that race. And not for Hamilton's amazing strategy and also doing an amazing job on that last stint. They wouldn't have won the race. And I think it's... 50% what the engineers managed to do and what they managed to create in this quite a pretty decent strategy, to be fair. Fair. If anything, fair play on that one. To be the car ahead, and Verstappen said in his post-race interview that, you know, overtaking is still difficult. We're not in the 2022 regulations yet, so... Yeah, not not yet. I just, I was just relishing the up-and-coming youngster. Verstappen is still young, remember? And yeah, he's 23. seven-time champion. Let's just give me that the entire season, please. Let's talk about some other people now. Battery Voltas comes in with Alonso fighting Vettel. What year is it? I know! A, a decent fight. Uh, I know! know. He didn't get the result he wanted, and he did crash into Ocon, which was... You know, he decided to somehow try and blame Ocon. That, that, yeah, that, that, that was your fault, Vettel. Vettel. That was your fault. Yeah, there were moments where it was a little bit you know, lacklustre, but I think Vettel actually put up a nice fight, to be honest. I think it was between signs... Uh, Alonso and himself, they just kept swapping. I think there's a meme coming up shortly. But Here we go. I was quite impressed with Vettel. He was on you know, pretty old mediums, and he had that fight, that spirit, that maybe we hadn't seen last year. And as if by magic, the next, tw the next tweet is nuanced humour. Allo, Allo Vett signs. So it was Alonso, Vettel, and signs back. Helping them all sort of jostle for position. Great to see Alonso back in, involved. You know, right. A little Who's going to make the first uh, move? Wasn't annoyed at it. It was, it was Alonso, Alonso and Vettel, bear in mind, former Ferrari drivers, and you've got Carlos Sainz, current Ferrari driver. But at the same time, it's great to see Alonso back. You know, seeing him there, and you know he's getting the most out of the car. Outperformed Ocon as well. It's it's good to have Fernando back, and he's only going to get better over the course of the season. Aaron Goshaw, he's hoping as he passes Alonso. <laughs> <laughs> is any, I, well, I say is anyone. I know most people. He's already become a fan favourite. My mum loves Yuki Tsunoda. Tenacious driving style, and he's even more tenacious on the team radio when something doesn't go his way or if someone gets in his way. Uh, so, no, he's, he's very quickly becoming one of my favourites to, to watch on track and listen to. He just sounds like he's such a nice guy, but he wants to win, and that's awesome. We've actually got a uh, double tweet. So sorry. Ferro underscore Francesco comes in with another one. Don't have a go at me, guys. It's been a busy day. Mercedes extending turn four track limits. You Come didn't see on. anything. In qualifying, you weren't allowed to do it. But in the race, you were allowed to do it until you weren't allowed to do it. Ugh, so it's so confusing. You even heard Verstappen on the team radio saying, well, I thought we weren't allowed to do that. And then they'll go, well, the Mercedes are both doing it. So do it until we get told not to. And then, of course, the confusion is then Verstappen makes a move around Hamilton, extends, and then you know, gets the position. But I think the, the Stonewall statement from, uh, from the stewards was the fact that you can't make an overtake using anything other than the track. So they were kind of lenient on the extensions up until a certain point. It's just it's confusing for the drivers, and it's even more confusing for us watching, right? So it just needs to be a, you know, a blanket statement where it's yeah. like, this is allowed or this isn't allowed. Don't change it between sessions. Exactly. TD comes in with Mercedes Bahrain pit stops. Anything with trash cans. Just 
works for me. Um, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that bot ass pit stop. That bot ass pit stop. What the fridge were they doing? Then attack Verstappen on an alternative strategy, which I can understand from a team's perspective, but at the same time, if you're bot ass, you're a little bit annoyed. First race of the season, and you're not really given a chance. Now, I didn't see this because I didn't actually hear the commentary. Crystal Horner comes in with Crofty and Brundle discussing when the 21st century started while Hamilton and Verstappen are fighting for a win. If that's what they were actually doing, that's not good. Moving on. Exactly. Consox, didn't even pick up on that. Every driver of the grid. Now, of course, it's bad. You know, he's a small guy, but he kind of harnesses that. He jokes about it. And I like that about him that he can, you know, he said he was going to grow. Do you think he'll still fit onto one of those, like, kitty cars? Love Yuki the rookie. Yuki the rookie. There you go. Hey! One tweet tweet of, of the week. week! Right, we're now into Tweet of the Week at Super Tweet of the Week, in fact, where we're giving away an amazing Fanatec prize, a podium wheel worth a huge Could amount this of be money, me. has to be said. And it's going to at Tay Farak. Nah, not today. Uh, unfortunately, using... Get ready, everybody. Demo. He's about to do something. <laughs> 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 that, that's a good one. That's a good one. Is there any more to say? I that, that's, that's, that's just brilliant. Amazing super tweet of the week prize. There will be a few more across the season, as I say. Use the hashtag WTF1 to get involved in the series. You know the drill, but well done. Enjoy your new Fanatec wheel. At Rhino underscore Peringo, how is your heart rate? Of course, this was to do with the Verstappen. I know. Oh, that was, was like, there was proper edge of your seat stuff. And of course, sort of working around the tyre wear, and I was just loving life. There's more, know more of this, please. During this moment, were you on the edge of your, of your seat? Were you sat back on Twitter? Were you running around your room? I want to know. Burnout Race News. Verstappen is now in DRS range. Yes, oh, is, yes. You can actually at that moment is how is Verstappen going to react and act in this situation where finally, for the first time ever, he believes he can win a world championship. I don't, I don't think it's going to boil over. In still this early days. Hey, still early days in the season. You never know. He could. How his mentality and his personality is both on and off track. If, say, in the middle of the season, he's leading the championship or still fighting Hamilton. It's going to be so interesting. I can't wait. I'm so full of adrenaline, it's frightening. I can't even say adrenaline. I'm so full of adrenaline, it's frightening. There we go. Hey, Dixie Zero, Hamilton during the last laps. They've got new gifts this year. They've, they've, done, they've done their work. Uh, the, the community have done their work. Fair play to them. Where Russell took over Hamilton's seat after Lewis got COVID. And, you know, a lot of people question, do you need... George! I think one of that, that race and many others he's had already is a great example and a refreshing example as to why Mercedes do need Lewis. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Max would have won that race. Bisson yep. underscore, following the end of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Now, I, I disagree with this. I was buzzing, even with the fact Lewis Hamilton won. Obviously, I'd like to have seen Max potentially win. I mean, I, I mean, everyone wanted Verstappen to win, but my word, it was, it was the climax to the race, though. The last lap of the race, we had a battle for the lead. Yeah. I can't say we've seen many of those unless it's Hamilton chasing Bottas at the end of the race. Other way around, it never really happened. So I was pretty happy. MS underscore 9197. Mercedes, we are far behind Red Bull. Also Mercedes. I don't think they were necessarily sandbagging or trying to tell us porky pies. I genuinely think they were behind. They you did know, genuinely the have... Cons the they well, did they have... Struggling. They were yeah. slower than they so normally clearly, are. You know, they took a lot of time to, to kind of strip back a few things and kind of understand a setup where it may not necessarily be as quick, but it needs to be stable and consistent. And of course, that's what brought Red Bull into play, where they've created an amazing car. So I don't think they were lying to us as such, but there's always mind games in the paddock. Yep. Fire kitten reads. Did Yuki get a point? Yuki totally got a point. Yay! Baby Yoda! He's obviously a small guy, but, you know, we'll try and stick away from just calling him small. But <laughs> it's, 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 it's Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's always a win. Post-race interview, he was actually wanting more, which is a great attribute for a driver. Not to be satisfied with a point or two here or there. He wants more, which is great. Formula reaction. Love this Twitter, Twitter account. The FIA right now. 
<laughs> High School Musical as well, so that's cheeky. Uh, so yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I need. I, okay, I need. I need to keep this in mind. I need to keep this in mind. High School Musical. Max would beat Lewis in an equal car. Max doesn't beat Lewis in a faster car. Now, I don't think the Red Bull was massively faster than the Mercedes. I think it definitely was the better package over the weekend. Um, and I also came out with a little tweet saying, you know, kind of shushing the, the haters. The ones that just want Critics to shoot down Lewis silence. and achieve them. Because, yeah, okay, if he didn't have the fastest car every year, he wouldn't have seven world titles. But that's the beauty of Formula One. You, you, the best drivers will end up in the best seats and stay Exactly. There. That's what Lewis has done. He doesn't just rock up on a Friday, get in the car, drive, fastest lap, cool, Saturday, Sunday, you know. It's a huge amount of work that goes on behind the scenes to make the Mercedes, make the Red Bull the fastest cars on the grid. People seem to just sweep that aside. Lewis is one of those that, from what I've seen in, in Drive to Survive, which of course you know you have to take with a pinch of salt sometimes, but you know the fact that he is there earliest in the day, leaves last at night as well. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. You don't become a seven-time world champion without putting the work in. So that's why I'm just a little bit, you know, I just don't like the ones that just kind of, you know, push aside his achievements and say, well, it's got, he's got a fast car. You know, that's it. Nah. And finally, another one actually uh, from Battery Volta. Bottas getting screwed by strategy, slow pit stop. Poor guy. Traditions. <laughs> you know, it kind of showed that more human side to him and uh, to be fair he is a bit of a joker anyway you just you, you can't help but go oh he's number two driver he's not good enough but he is a really nice guy and genuinely i hope he does get a few moments where he can shine he says he's worked on a lot of race pace over the off season and trying to sort out the the bits and bobs that make mean that he can't beat lewis hamilton over the last few years i don't think he will win the championship or get massively close to lewis but i'd like for him to have his day but then not say you know, to whom it may concern when, you know, maybe he's benefited from other people's bad luck. That didn't sit well with many people, did it? Mm. Social media team championship time. Here we go. What do we got? round of the season. Who's going to get off to a good start in Bahrain? In third position, we have Haas F1 team. Checks mentions. <laughs> I know exactly what lap that was from. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly why they were checking their mentions and seeing mm -hmm. one point mm -hmm. in second place we have an amazing meme worthy picture that they posted of Kimi Raikkonen it's of course Alfa Romeo <laughs> and well, his royal blood holding up a banner Two 20, 20, 20 years finally, still the here winners of the social media team championship for round one Bahrain are the winners of the actual Grand Prix Mercedes AMG Go on. Kronas F1 team. MG gives you wings. Oh, that is perfectly timed. That is perfectly timed. Get their elbows out on social media. That is perfectly timed. But well done, Mercedes. You get the maximum points of three of them. And now it's time for race rundown with your host. It's race rundown time. Yay! Here we go. God, it's race rundown time now. I haven't done this in a very long time, so I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Then. The finishers of the Bahrain Grand Prix for round one. Oh. Oh, do I give it a bash? Okay, let's give it a bash. <clears throat> How many for Sapphire Bottas? No, it's ah, shoot. How many for Sapphire Bottas? <sighs> How many for Sapphire Bottas? No, it's Perez Leclerc. Like, look at that. Mass! Look, look, what? How many of us have the Bottas? Ah! Ricardo was that far up! How many of us have the Bottas? Last! Now I know how now I know how he feels! How many of us have the Bottas? No, it's Ah! No! Okay. How many of us have the Bottas? No, it's Paris. Ah! How many of us have the Bottas? No, it's Paris. How many of us. Oh, come on! I can't get past the top five! How much of a staff of Bottas has no his parents? Ah! How much of a staff of Bottas? Ah! How much of a staff of Bottas? Ah! Smeg my hamburgers! How much of a staff of Bottas has no his parents? Like Clay LeCron's size is another straw. Ah! How much of a staff of Bottas has no his parents? Ah! Sweet. Mm. No, no, I, I, I can't, I can't. Oh god, I actually felt my entire body tense up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. How much of a staff of Bottas? How much of a staff of Bottas has no I need to make that bigger. Oh no, that, that makes my whole screen like. Oh my! Do it. I'm just gonna stop being a wuss. How many of us have been bonnet? 
Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, Norris, Perez, Leclerc, Ricardo, Sainz, Sonoda. Well, that's not easy. Stroll, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Russell, Vettel, Schumacher, Gasly, Latifi. Wow. Hamilton. Okay. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Russell, Vettel, Schumacher, Gasly, Latifi. Wow. Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, Norris, Perez. Hamilton, Verstappen. Okay. Let's go. I want to the Press, the Club, the Cardinal Sassan, or the Stroll, like the Gymnastic, or Oh, they were so close! So close! How was it the Stafford Potters, Doris Perez, McLean, with the Cardinal Sassan, or the Stroll, like the Gymnastic, or Cardinal Sassan, or the TV show, like it? No, I forgot Vettel! How was it the Stafford Potters, Perez? How was it the Stafford Potters, Doris Perez, McLean, just. Ah, flip. And now I'm right back to where I was. Comes with the separate process from Porus. Aha! I keep forgetting Norris! Comes with the separate process. Comes with the separate process from Norris. Ah! Comes with the separate process from Norris. Press the clothes of Carlos Sainz to know the straw. Why can't you give an icy off on the soul of Vettel? Oh, I'm so close! I'm so close! I'm so close! I'm so close! I've got this! Come on! Comes with the separate process from Norris. Press the clothes of Ricardo. Shh! Shrikardo? How was it stop a process nurse? Ah, nurse? How was it stop a process? How was it stop a process? Ah, Boras? How was it stop a process? Ah, hmm. How was it stop a process to press? I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. He's, I've had more attempts than Matt. How was it stop? How was it stop a process nurse? Press? Ah, how about if I stop at Bottas from Norris? I, I almost keep going for Perez! Smooth! How about if I stop at Bottas from Norris? How about if I stop at Bottas from Norris? How about if I stop at Bottas from Norris? How about if I stop at Bottas from Norris? How about if I stop at Bottas from Norris? Perez, the Clever Card, the Slice, the Nord, the Strong, Rocky, the Gymnasty, Ocon, Russell, Vettel, Schumacher, and Gasly, the CP! Yes! Finally! Boom! Finally! I think he's now had more attempts than me! There we go! I don't, I don't even know how many attempts we had. Alonso Buzzman! 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 Easy as that. Alonso Buzzman! Alonso Buzzman! Good. That'll Finally, do. before we go, we held an awesome competition on Instagram where one of you could win a signed Lando picture, and the winner is underscore Molly dot Atkinson underscore. So well done, Molly. Uh, you win an amazing prize, but fear not. If you fancy getting yourself one of them, uh, we've got 20% off. So the code will be on screen right about now. And if you fancy getting one yourself, the link is in the description. It's a pretty awesome thing, and it's signed from Lando. So there you go. Right, there you have it. The first Internet's Best Reactions is done and dusted. Super week with Fanatec. We also gave an amazing prize away with F1 Authentics. If you want to get involved next time, use the hashtag WTF1 on social media and we'll pick the very best ones to be featured next time in three weeks for Imola. I am going to have an amazing rest of my evening because it's just been such an awesome first round. I hope you guys are excited for the rest of the season too. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, that was, oh, that was a lot of fun.
That was a lot. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Oh, my word. Oh, that woman race run down now. Oh, a lot of spin. It's always the one finishes that's so much easier, depending on how many they are. But nevertheless, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be a Team Chaser like myself, and hit the subscribe button down at the bottom and click the bell to join the Team Chaser's notifications because you don't miss anything I do on this channel. And so until next time, this is Kenzie Retro signing off. Thank you and good night.